everyone it's happy halloween season so i want to do like a sexy dark devil girl look you know but not the typical all red and everything i want to be a little more rusty the colors so if you like this look and want to know how i created it just keep watching so I really just want to, I really want to cover my brows and it's been a while. So let's see if I can do it. I've never been great at it. So let's see if I can do it. <laughs> I haven't used my glue in a while. It's not the most softest right now. So the glue situation is gonna work cause my glue ain't good. So I just want them to be thinner. So I'm just gonna cover them with concealer and then go over it. The concealer is not going to make it look like I have no brows, but it's just going to lighten more of the hairs around it and the spaces in between it just so that I can make them look thinner when I do my makeup. And to do that, I'm going to use my Ben Nye Essential Palette Matte HD Foundations. All the colors come like this. It's a foundation palette, so if you're a makeup artist and you travel around, like it's good to have these. I'm just going to dip. I'm just going to dip into one of these colors and go over my brows. So let's pretend they're canceled out. Pretend they're like not there. And no, I haven't primed yet because my first concern was to get rid of the brows. So. It is what it is and plus I'd rather have it be have I rather have no makeup yet because I want to put on the horns before we put on the makeup part because the cleaner the skin the better they always stick on so I'm going to use the spirit gum foam Meheron. I don't know if I ever say it correctly. I always use their products, but I never know if I say it correctly. For Mehron makeup, I'm gonna use their spirit gum to attach my horns on my forehead. And I believe it's the same brand, but whatever I use, like SFX stuff, I'm definitely gonna list it below. So what you're going to do is with the spirit gum, you're going to apply it to whatever area you want and once it gets tacky then you're going to put your prosthetic there so i'm going to apply my spare gum and then apply my horn i'm gonna put on the whole thing yeah and i already knew it was going to be like look at this why you out of focus I already knew it was going to be this close to my brows because I don't have, I have a three head, so having a three head, it's not going to stick as well, I mean having a three head is just really big for my forehead, I even cut off the axis, it was bigger than this, but look how look. Do the other one so you remember put it straight on the skin and let it become tacky do not put it on the prosthetic itself and uh, the reason why there was two bottles a bigger one in the pack is because one of them is a spare gum remover so it's gonna be pretty tacky because it gets tacky quick oh my god it's on I never put horns on my head before. There we go. I was like, it's too close to my brow. It's all right. I got some space on my forehead. It's not that small. <laughs> I'm never early on Halloween looks, so I'm really trying here because. Halloween makes me happy, inspired, and all that. I like evil and gory things. I love horror in general. So, I like this is my time. 
and make sure just I'm just keep pressing around just to make sure especially because over here yes he, there you go I got it it's like I cut it too into it so and I need a little more of the circle part for it to stick better but so far it's so good so now I'm going to prime the rest of my face the only reason again I do this before is because I wanted I wanted this to be super clean so that it can stick better because if there's nothing on it it's going to stick way better and if I would have put product on it it probably wouldn't have stuck that well so I just wanted to get you know the best results with making it stick on so let me put on my Too Faced Do You full coverage so let me tell you this is on sale right now today is September something this is the end of September I think it's the 25th I can't even remember so this was on sale for nine dollars on Too Faced website so if y'all looking to get the Do You Foundation it's for nine dollars right now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply I want to start my foundation up here and my reason for starting it up here is because I want to start covering the horns so I want to blend it outward already oh, what's this okay there we go so I want to be like I just want to put product up starting up here first so I can blend this all in and I want to honestly see how it covers the horns and so far so good oh so far so good <laughs> of the face and the reason is because if there's any fallout i prefer for us to not ruin whatever we do underneath the eyes so let's start with that so when it comes to this i'm going to use a lot from my james charles palette because i feel like the colors like i love this palette because you there's so many colors that you can use for your looks and it's just such a variety of different colors that i don't have to go between a whole bunch of palettes to get something specific and he has a good black if you know me you'll know i love a good black eyeshadow because not everyone has pigmented black eyeshadow so and i want this to be a smoky eye hopefully we do a red wing let a red wing let's see if that works but i really want to do a smoky eye regardless I don't want I don't think I want the whole eye black but if I want a good smoke like that's where I need to go when I prime I always use a concealer I know and I say this in other videos that people say concealer is always the best option for priming your lids because it's moisturizing and it can you know not hold the eyeshadow as good as a eyeshadow primer but for me it's the opposite eyeshadow primers for some reason always make my lids a little oily or mess up my 
shadows as to concealer it does not don't know why but it always works for me this way so if you ever have a trouble with eyeshadow primer and it never works out for you concealer is always the way to go and for my just for priming my shadow my favorite one is on the Tarte Shape Tape because of how much it dries down on me because I never wear it under my eyes because it's too drying for under my eyes but for priming my lids I love it foundation as you can listen it's all right I'll live I'll survive if you can use your fingers use your fingers which I normally prefer I was just being extra oh and my contacts I got them from TD TDI their contact brand I always use ever since I found them I've been stuck on them they're literally all I use for contacts because their contacts with good care last up to a year so whenever you see me so those times you see me with like blue contacts on instagram or whatever they were the same brand but they also ha they don't have just regular colored contacts they have contacts like this for you know like halloween or things like that but for someone that likes to do looks i love that website because their contacts last up to a year with good care so for my transition shade, I mixed a couple colors and the colors are like a rusty and orangey brownish color. I just mix them. Um, it's from my James Charles palette. I'll write it here. So I'm going to buff that, apply it and buff, buff, buff. So we're going a little rub the lid and into the lid. And I'm dragging it in. I want to drag this out a little as well. sharpen it anyways so I don't care if it's a little messy because that we could get rid of with the setting powder now I'm going to do the same thing with the other eye So I'm putting it on the edges and I am following the flare I made. 
and I'm gonna go in with the brush to blend it out. Could keep in mind, and I said this another video. See, that's why y'all need to watch my videos. Oh, actually, no, every single look I make is created on the spot. I think of it in my head, or I write it out, or I'll just probably draw something and be like, oh, look. But they're never tested beforehand, ever. So what I'm gonna do for my Patrick Star palette that I've been using the mirror for, the color Sway Charm, it's just um, a beige color. I'm gonna put that on the, this part of my lid, because I want everything on my lid to be a little rusted, smoky looking. <laughs> It really makes a difference when you add a brow bone color. And I know I'm using the other side. I know I'm using brushes or brushes I already used. That's just how I am. Before we continue, I'm going to do the concealer part. And the reason I'm going to do that is because if I do decide to do the red liner, I'd rather have this already sharpened beforehand because the red liner i don't have an actual red liner haha <laughs> i'm going to use um a red lipstick from on my anastasia beverly hills lip kit and then put red shadow on it i do that a lot in some older videos if you see that kit i feel like helps with a lot of type of with a lot of um you know exaggerated makeups or sfx makeup because i can use those lipsticks for more than just my lips so i'm just gonna highlight like always which is this way, this way, and this way, and then let me just, because even though I could blend it this way, I really just have that sharpness already there just to help lead me along the way when I blend this out. the sponge that I use to blend out the foundation I don't know why I feel like it will make it look better because I don't want it as light as my under eyes I want it lighter for when I contour you can tell but I don't want it as light as my under eyes at the same time Ooh, well, how stupid I am to drop my, my sponge in my face it's like dropping your phone in your face I'm so stupid <laughs> here to end up taking off the access to when I'm contouring like normally on a normal time or any time um I actually use because this is what, medium and on my face parts I actually use medium deep and I actually like to blend it all into my skin I like to press it the powder into my skin so taking my Anastasia red cream Lipstick from the lip kit. Okay, yes. Okay, this is what I wanted. So yes, I made a wing with the lipstick now. So for the lipstick to show more and stay, I'm going to dip into the red color in the James Charles palette and I'm going to pack it on top. <laughs> This is what I'm looking for. 
for. This is what I'm looking for. I'm about to extend it a little bit more. The red, I'm gonna extend it. Wait, 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 wait. Cosmetics, which is one of my favorite brands. I am going to take this contouring brush, it's a chisel brush, and I want them to be as sucked in as possible. And then I like to blend it down a little. It'll be blended more later because I like to do it a little harsh at first. And then blend it more later. So look. Huge difference. Of course my makeup's gonna be more dramatic than this, but just know this is what I do 
you on a regular glam day when it comes to my face. And I just go like this. So yeah, so when I contour my nose, you know, I still the size in the bottom. But I don't do the line too thin. I make my nose look too thin. My face won't look right. So I just like to, it's not even just really about making it thin. It's that I like to create a little bridge here because I have a white nose. So my cheeks, I'm going back in with a rusty color from the James Charles palette. with them on the daily i will literally do line line fill in and in the beginning brush brush which is what i'm doing now but i'm just not i'm making sure it's just try, i'm not trying to make them look as thick as they normally are <laughs> Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extension Mascara, which is water resistant. Um, what I like about it though is this for the bottom lashes. I normally use other mascaras, but this is what it's gonna be. I'm just gonna take the holder, which is a gold shadow, and I'm going to highlight with it. This is from the Patrick Star palette. I'm going to use with the finishing powder. I can stay harsh there. I can my beauty mark. Now I'm going to line my lips. This is the lip liner from Black Heart Beauty, which is in um, Hot Topic. <laughs>
this liner and I'm gonna and like coloring in the sides and you know the line in the middle whatever because I naturally do have a little line in the middle so I like to deepen it wonder if I contour my lips the lipstick I'm going to use is the NYX liquid suede cream lipstick in the color stone fox which is a gray oh it's like a a gray with like a blue tint it does not look like that in the bottle okay it's great right now it looks nice though A good dupe, to the, a good dupe to um the Urban Decay is this Elf All Night 16 Hour Spray. It's literally a dupe. I know I'm gonna take this right off, but I don't know. I feel like I gotta do it. Hold on. And this is the complete look. bell so you know every time I upload a new video. Thank you for watching. Bye!